Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations. I'm going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation here, the square root of x plus 8 equals the square root of 3x plus 8. Okay? I need to square both sides. So, I'm going to square both sides. And what that does, it's going to get rid of my square roots. So I'm left with an x plus 8 equals 3x plus 8. Now I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to put my x's together and my numbers together. So I'm going to subtract an x to both sides. And I'm subtracting 8 to both sides. Leaving me with 8 minus 8 being 0 here. And 3x minus x is 2x. Well, I have 0 equals 2x. I'm going to divide by 2. And now I have, well, 0 divided by 2 is just 0. So 0 equals just an x. I can rewrite that to be x equals 0. Now be careful, a lot of students will see 0 divided by 2, oh, they'll say like undefined. No, 0 is on top of this fine, divided by 2, it's great, but it becomes 0. Be careful with that. And I rewrote it to have x come first because that looks nice and neat. So let's go check our work. So let's check it. So we have x plus 8 here. I'm rewriting my equation. The square root of x plus 8 equals the square root of 3x plus 8. Now be careful, once you're comfortable with zeros, uh, I love plugging zeros in, it really eliminates things quickly. So we have 0 in for x here, 0 plus 8 equals 3 times 0 plus 8, excuse me. Well, 0 plus 8 is just 8, the square root of 8 here, and 3 times 0 is 0 plus, uh, sorry, I'll not skip a step, 0 plus 8 here. So 3 times 0 is 0, add an 8, 0 plus 8, we already knew it was 8, so the square root of 8 equals the square root of 8. Left and right are equal, fantastic, showing me that we have no extraneous solutions and that x equals 0 is my final answer. But let's recap. So we're given the square root of x plus 8 equals the square root of 3x plus 8. Both radicals were isolated on each side of the equation, so I can square both sides here. And I know they're both going to get eliminated. So we're left with just the x plus 8 on the left and 3x plus 8 on the right. Now I brought my x's to the right, numbers to the left in this case here, leaving me with 0 equals 3x minus x, which is 2x. I divided both sides by 2, doesn't change much, but it just gives x by itself here, and I have 0 equals x, right? 0 divided by 2 is 0. I rewrote that to have x come first, so it looks nicer, so I have x equals 0 here. Now I needed to check, though. That's what they asked me, so I'm going to check it. So I rewrote my equation and then substituted 0 in for both x's. Be careful with zeros. Uh, sometimes I always find students uh, mess up with that. Um, they, for some reason, I don't know, either think, oh, 0 doesn't do anything, and they don't plug it in, I don't know. But 0 plus 8 is just 0, so we have square root of, oh, it's just 8, so we have square root of 8 there. And 3 times 0 is 0, then we add an 8, and we're left with square root of 8 here on the right, and a square root of 8 on the left. Be careful with the order of operations. That's uh, true, they're equal, right? Square root of 8 is equal to square root of 8. They're the same thing. So that confirms we have no extraneous solutions, and our final answer is correct, and it is x equals 0.